Marroquinho. Hola, buenas tardes. Good evening. <laughs> I know you are asking yourself right now, what is the lienzo de Cuauquecholan? Well, the lienzo de Cuauquecholan is an indigenous ma uh, pictographic map painted on cotton cloth circa 1530. <laughs> It was painted by the Cuauquecholteca of Central Mexico and tell the story of how they conquered Guatemala in alliance with the Hernán Cortés and the Spanish army. It belongs to the genre of historical cartography. The Lienzo Cuauquecholan is also known as the first map of Guatemala. Can you imagine a map of your life? A map that depicts all the passages of your life, including the places you have traveled and the important people that you encounter along the way? This concept is what we call living geography. The lienzo is living geography because it combines maps with stories. And this is how the Cuauquecholteca chose to represent the events of their collective lives. The original lienzo is almost 500 years old. It's badly damaged, it has stains and holes, and it's torn. At the Universidad Francisco Marroquín, we undertook a digital restoration project with the help of dozens of experts to bring the colors and symbology back to life. After the digital restoration, the lienzo -like looks like it did the day that it was first painted around 1530. We have created a dynamic web map with ESRI technology that showcases our, our digital restoration project and how the ancient place glyphs and symbols relate to modern day geography of Guatemala. And now Luis Fernandez from Geosystec will show you the live demo. Thank you, Ana Lucia. Hello, everyone. Uh, well, now I'm going to show you the web application we developed to, for the lienzo. Even though the lienzo is uh, a map, it has no special reference. The, even though it has uh, the, the towns, the, the routes, the, all the rivers and mountains, it doesn't have any units, defined units. So as you know, maps has to, has, need a coordinate system and, and a special reference. So in order to do this, we created this duo viewer, which has two different windows. One, we have the lienzo, and you can zoom in and zoom out. And the other hand, we have a modern map where you can zoom in and zoom out as well. So with this timeline tool that we have here, we were able to synchronize both viewers and show specific scenes of the lienzo, which shows here the, what, the, what the lienzo was painted, the routes, the information, the the history, and here we have all the towns. Uh, I mean, the modern map. So we can go from, from different places, and as you can see, uh, it tells us the, 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 the story that is related on the lienzo, and also as well here on the map. Another functionality that we added here is that we, flip, we can flip the windows and relate additional information from these different features so the reader can interpret and see all the different symbology that it has uh, on the lienzo. The other thing that we did, which is very important, was for the restoration process. And for this, we developed this swipe tool over the web so you can pan and zoom in to a specific location and you can see the original lienzo and the restore digital version of it. For all this, we use RGIS Server 9.3.1 and the Microsoft Silverlight plugin. This is really, really interesting, really neat technology. Well, just be sure to uh, stop by tomorrow. We're going to have a presentation at 10.15 at room 30C, where you can get more of this. All right. Thank you.